Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. In this video, we will learn about the remaining list methods and list comprehension. Next comes remove. When you use remove, it just removes the first occurrence of an element in the list. We created a list contains multiple values. When you use remove, it will remove the value only once. In this example, I want to remove value 4. Let's see. List 1, remove 4. Just printing it. Now you can see the value 4 is removed. It will remove the first occurrence only when you use remove method. One more example directly I am executing it. I want to remove the name Anand. You can directly remove it. Just run it. The value Anand is removed. So when we use this method is an another question strikes our mind. For example, you have a very big list and you don't know the index value at that time you can use remove because using del key you must know the exact index of that value then only we can delete the particular value in the list when you use remove there is no need to worry about the index value but it will remove the first occurrence only what you can do if it is multiple values then you can do an iteration till that value is not found in addition to delete and remove we have another method called pop. This method is also used to remove a value, but it will tell exactly what is the value it removed. And we are learning pop is for the knowledge purpose only. So don't get confused with other methods. If you remember del and remove, it is more than enough. And this method is used to remove with the help of index value. It is exactly same as del. You have the list contains 10 values. Now what I am doing, this pop is having a return type. That's why I'm assigning to a variable one dot pop. If you didn't mention any index, then it will remove the last value. Run it. So the value removed is 10 and it displaying the output. An indirect way of interview question. I want to remove a particular value and it should display what is the exact value. If that is a question, you have to say the pop. Another example. Here, now we will remove a value with the help of index if we mention 2, 0, 1, 2. Pop 2 means it will remove the value Kumaran. Just run it. We have removed the value Kumaran and it is displayed. The next method is count. This method is used to find how many times a particular value is available in the list. It is straightforward. Print the variable name or list then count. Inside the count. I want to find how many times the value 1 is available in this list. Just run it. 3 times number 1 is available inside this particular list. The next one is reverse. This method reverses the list and returns none. You have a list with 10 numbers. You want to print it like 10, 9, 8, 7 exactly in the reverse way. List 1 dot reverse. Just print it the list is reversed. One more example for string. For string, if you mention reverse and run it, Satish Kumar Anand Vinod. This is how we will use the reverse method. The next one is sort method. We use this a lot. Sort method is used to sort a particular list using ascending or descending way. If you are not mentioning it, by default it will take the ascending order. We will see for both numbers and the string you know vowel c e i o u but i didn't mention it in the ascending order i want to sort it first we will see how to do it in the ascending order vowel start sort then print it just run it you can see the sorted list a e i o u this is an example how to sort the characters the same program i want to print it in the descending order the only change here is inside sort you have to mention reverse equal to true. This will print in the descending order. Just run it u o i e a. One more example directly we will see we have the numbers. I want to sort it. Just run it. The numbers are sorted in the ascending order. If you want to display it in the descending order you have to mention reverse equal to true. The next one is string split to create a list. We have already seen this video. Once again, we will glance it. We have a method called split. 
which is used to split the value with the help of specified separate. Whenever you split the string, it will split and create the list. Just run it. The first example, it splitted with space. So welcome to Python class has four values. In the second example, with the help of comma. In the third example, with the help of colon. So the indirect interview question, how you will convert a string to a list? You have to say split method, we can use it. The next topic is list comprehension. First, we will see the example, then we'll come to this definitions. If you want to understand a list comprehension, first we will see a program without list comprehension. What this program does is you have created a list called cube and a for loop in the range of 10. So 10 numbers starts from 0 to 9. Then you are appending it as i power 3, 1 power 3, 2 power 3, 3 power 3, 4 power 3, like that. The numbers cube you want to find it. Just print it. What happened is 0 power 3, 0, 1 power 3, 1, 2 power 3, 8, 3 power 3, 27, and so on till 729. If the requirement is you have to create the cube of each number in a range, we have to code like this. Now, the same program I'm going to code it using list comprehension. This is the best part of Python cube equal to within the square bracket i power 3 for i in range 10 print cube. The full program we converted to a two lines of code. Just run it. It works. In simple word, list comprehension is an elegant and concise way to create a new list. So instead of having a very big, big programs, we can use list comprehension and we can create programs with less number of lines. And only big drawback of list comprehension is this piece of code can be understood only by Python programmers. But if Java coder seeing this piece of code, at least he can guess exactly what this piece of code is doing. If you have seen in other programming language, try to find the even numbers, find the odd numbers. We have to write a very big piece of code. But in Python, it's just one line of code, list x for x in range 20 till 20 numbers. I want to print all the even numbers. You know very well the number percentage by two, it's a modulus operator. If the remainder is zero, then it's an even number. If the remainder is not zero, then it's an odd number. Just run it. In the range of 0 to 20, these are all the even numbers and these are all the odd numbers. This biggest program we accommodated in just two line of code. That's the best about the list comprehension, but this will be mostly used by the advanced programmers. We have completed all the topics in the list data type. You can find the materials in this URL, which will be mentioned in the video description. You can refer each topic and let me know in case of any clarification. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.